Hello and welcome to the song tutorial for Driver's License by Olivia Rodrigo. I have great news for you. The song is super straightforward to play and it's beautiful on the piano because it has a very distinct piano part. So I'm gonna walk you through how to play this. We've got free sheet music for you below this lesson if you wanna take a look at that. Let's dive in. So in this song, the right hand is basically just doing this. So we've got a B flat and a B flat. It's called an octave and it's just hanging out there. Now, if this shape is not comfortable for you, don't worry, because it'll sound just fine if you play just this lower B flat. Or you can play this lower B flat and an F like this. So go with what feels and sounds best to you. Your left hand is gonna be just moving through a couple chords, really simple. So B flat, D and F, and it hangs out there for two bars, which is eight beats. And then it moves to G minor, which is G, B flat and D, and it hangs out there for two bars. And then it moves to E flat, which is, I'm gonna play E flat, B flat and E flat like that. But you could just play these two guys if you don't like that octave reach. And then you move back to the B flat and that's all that happens. So you've got four of these and then one and two and three and four and you're holding that left hand. And then you're gonna move to the G minor chord. Now you'll repeat that because the verse continues and then things change a little bit when you get to this next section because we've got this chorus and the piano part is so beautiful so I'm going to show you exactly what to do. Um, so this is the part where she's singing. I know we were perfect but I never felt this way for no one. So let's look at how to play that. So we've got it written, if you are a note reader, we've got it written kind of try to make it as easy as possible for you because these are played quite low and if you notate them that low on the staff you have to look at all these ledger lines and that can be confusing. So it's written here, B flat in this position, but it's got an 8 VB which means to play it an octave lower which is what you hear in the track. So let's find the notes. I'll demonstrate up here where it's shown and then we'll move it down so you can hear how that sounds. So we've got B flat, G, D, G, C, G, D, G. And while that's going on, we're just playing and holding E flat and B flat. And I'm also gonna use my pedal because it sounds awesome. B flat, G, D, G, C, G, D, G, B flat. We're gonna keep going. G, C, G, D, G, E flat, G. And then all we have to do is move this guy down to B flat. We're already holding the top one and we can play this shape. And if that's uncomfortable, just play one of those B flats. We've got B flat here. F, D, F, C, F, D, F. And then it repeats. B flat, G, D, G, C, G, D, G, B flat, G, C, G, D, G, E flat, G, and then B flat. With the B flat, F, C, F, D, F. And then it changes a bit. So when you play it, you may choose, it doesn't really matter, go with what you like the sound of. You might play it down here. And this is about the speed, once you have had some time to practice this. And get dramatic with it. You know, you can kind of build. It's so beautiful. And then we get to this next little bit. Cause you didn't mean what you, she you knows she's getting really passionate. And so we've got some notes, because we're playing a song on the piano, to play here. So we've got D and B flat. Again, it's technically played down here, but I'll show you here. And then we've got a G in the left. So we do this, we play the bottom note again, and then the shape moves to C and F with F in the left. C, and then everybody moves up to F and D with a B flat here. F, and then a D minor chord shape with a D here. You play the bottom note again, and then Hang with me here. We're gonna play G, B flat, and D with these fingers. It sounds so pretty. E flat in the left hand. There's the pretty. And then we're gonna rock down to the E flat like this. And if that feels not so good for your hands, because it's too big of a stretch, just play G and B flat like this, and then rock to the E flat that way. And we're in the home stretch here, and then we're gonna go to C with an E flat and a G. F and A with C and F, and then B flat. Again, all of that can be played uh, much lower. It sounds more dramatic. 
static here too. What am I doing? Here we go. <laughs> so pretty. Cause you said forever, now I drive along past your street. Now with the exception of the bridge at the end of the song, you've basically got the whole thing at this point, which is so exciting. So let's quickly look at the bridge. All right, so. For the bridge, we are like in super duper pop land here with these straight chords. We're gonna be playing a G minor chord here, just four of them. And then we stay in that shape for four more. Then we just drop our thumb. And we're actually playing an inverted B flat chord. And then we're gonna, we're gonna take these two fingers and go urch. We're now we're on an F chord. And then up back to the G minor. And then we stay there. One two, three, four, just the thumb drops, two, three, four, top two notes come down to an F chord, two, three, four. The left hand, now there's two ways you can do this. I'm gonna show you how it's notated and then I'll show you a tutor way in case it's tricky with the rhythms. So G minor with a G together, so we've got one and two and three and four and. So that that can take some practice to learn. If you don't get it right away, don't worry. You can slow down and practice it. Um, the cheater way I'm showing is just to play and hold that note. One, two, and three, and four, and totally acceptable. Now the left hand moves to an E flat. One, and two, and three, and four, and drop the thumb. Now you're on B flat. One, and two, and three, and four, and F chord. Two, and three, and four, and that's how the bridge goes. So good. And you could start sort of like soft and like build in volume to make it really, really intense. And then we go back into the chorus and, and you've got all the pieces of the song. So now it's just a matter of putting all of those pieces together. So that's Driver's License. I hope you have so much fun learning and playing the song. Uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment below. If you have song requests for future tutorials, let us know in the comments as well. I read the comments and I love teaching you how to play songs. So let us know what you want to learn next and hit like on this video. So, happy practicing, and I'll see you around. I got my driver's license last week, just like we always talked about. Cause you were so excited for me to finally drive up to your house. But today I drove through the suburbs, crying cause you weren't around. You're probably 